Hi families, I just wanted to make a quick video. I know that last time that I did this, it kind of helped to set a lot of things straight and get us headed down the right path. So I wanted to just go ahead and do that again. Um, hopefully it's, you're one of the people who appreciated this video and you're not just annoyed by it. <laughs> but um, I, did, I did just wanna reach out. Um, I was doing a lot of thinking over the weekend about going in the hybrid model and everything. And we've made so much, um, so many gains, you know, already this year. And I wanna make sure that we keep that steady momentum climbing and that we keep these kids as supported as we possibly can. Um, I typically, I mean, I always am somebody who is very thankful for the partnerships that I have with parents and with guardians at home that help support children with their schoolwork and with life in general at home. And I cannot tell you how important that is during a time like this. Um, I don't know, like, if you guys have really thought about it. It's something I think about a lot, about how hard all of this is on us as adults, right? And so then I start thinking, I'm like, wow, if I wasn't like a 41 year old woman who had lots of experience under her belt and tons of maturity, I'm sure the kids have told you. Um, if they have it though, like if you, if you haven't had that though yet, this has to be super hard. And I just, I can't even wrap my mind around being a kid with all of the uncertainty with things these days. And there's no, no solid routines. I mean, it's just, it, it makes it really hard. So at any rate, like I said, I've been thinking a lot about that. So I just wanted to put it out there to everybody. I want to reassure you as parents, as guardians, as anybody who's staying with kids, you know, during the day, during hybrid stuff, I want to reassure you that I am still here. I will still help in any way I possibly can. Um, the way that I'm going to be running the hybrid model, since um, I have been having pretty good luck with continuing to do the Google Meets and doing a live lesson each day. I'm going to continue to do that because whenever possible, I do like to deliver, um, you know, lessons myself because I know the kids, I know what they need, I know when to slow down, everything like that comes into play. So I do love to be able to deliver those lessons. Obviously, that's not always possible. Everybody's circumstances aren't the exact same. So I'm also still going to be posting the Ed Puzzle videos. Um, that will also walk the kids through the concepts and deliver the messages that I need delivered each day. Um, I need you to hear me when I say, if a kid shows up for a live lesson, they do not have to do that at puzzle. That is just the supplemental thing that is there in case somebody can't make it on to a live lesson for the day. Um, when a student is hybrid, when or I guess we're all hybrid, but when a student is at home, if they're if they are at a, an uh, at at home day, they are welcome to join my live learning link to hear the read aloud and to have the lesson delivered. The one thing I won't be able to do over the live learning link with the children who are at home is I won't be able to necessarily stop and help or answer questions from them. Um, I know that sounds really harsh and I hate that, but I also wanna make sure that any of the kids that are here in person with me are getting 100% me and they're getting the help that they can get from me when they are here live in person with me. So what I'm gonna ask kids to do is if they join a live learning link and if they're struggling with any of those concepts just shoot me an email after the lesson or hold on to your question and ask me the next day um, I'm gonna be delivering a new session every day and we have a really you know a really strict schedule of our book club um, calendars and everything like that that we're going to want to stay up with so um, just make sure that you're that, that your kids you're encouraging your kids to touch base with me if they have questions you're checking in with your with the kids to make sure that if they have questions that you can help with or they can bounce some ideas off of you because I mean bottom line is they are sixth graders they're going to need to be reminded to submit their work they're going to need to have somebody hold them accountable for these things when they're not at school and that's okay because that's that's developmentally appropriate so um, I just I want you to I want to assure you and I want to ask for your help both things um, especially my kids this year I've gotten to know them really well I feel like this year better than I've known kids in a long time and I know that some of them can get really down on themselves when something's hard. So I just want you to help me out by just encouraging them that they can get it and they can reach those goals. Um, if they, if we can help boost their confidence, that's going to help them so, so much more. And I'm probably telling you guys things that you all know. I mean, we're all parents or, you know, have had experience with children and things. So we know these things, but it's just it was something that's been really weighing on my mind this weekend. And I wanted to make sure that 
that I reached out to you guys and just talked to you a little bit about it. So overall, just realize I'm here. I want to help in any way that I can. I am for sure going to try to maintain the majority of my focus um, on the kids that are in the classroom on the days that they are here for in-person help. I will answer emails constantly. Um, as soon as school ends, I'll jump on email and, and, and answer anything for any of those kids who are at home that day. Um, parents, if you've got questions or concerns, you know, if you feel like your kid is getting too far behind or you feel like they're not understanding something, just shoot me an email. I am all about communication and I'm all about this partnership right here so that we can make sure your kids are as successful as possible. Um, I'm trying to think. I've got my little list here of everything to make sure. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to make sure um, that I talked to you guys about. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I, I just felt like it was important for me to give you a personal message to just kind of let you know what was on my mind, um, the things I've been thinking about, and how we can work together to make sure that these kids continue to grow and be confident learners. So if you've got any questions or concerns, just let me know. I am here and I'm here to help. Okay? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.